Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue with the lesson the French Revolution and our topic today is a growing middle class envisages an end to privileges in France. Chapter 1 and unit 1.3 of class 9 history. So here we are going to read how the middle class envisaged envisaged here is the meaning that there was a possibility they conceived a possibility for a future event and uh, how to end the priv privileges or the special conditions that the rich people enjoy so in the past the peasants and the workers had participated in revolts against increasing taxes and food scarcity but they lacked the means programs to carry on such kind of full-scale measures that would bring about a change in the social and economic order and this was left to those groups within the third state who had become little rich or prosperous and had access to education and new ideas so here we come to know although the workers and the peasants want wanted to go against revolt against the first state and the second state but they were unable to do so because they were not educated and they were not rich so there was a uh, certain a group of people within the third state who had become rich prosperous why because they were businessmen or somewhere school teachers some were teaching and lawyers etc so these all got new ideas and their education and their prosperity and wealth decided that they should also be equal or they should also enjoy the privileges what the first state and the second state were getting so this is what started a new revolution the 18th century witnessed the emergence of the social groups termed the middle class who earned their wealth through an expanding overseas trade and from the manufacture of goods such as woolen and silk textiles that were earlier exported or bought by the richer members of the society so here we come to know they did uh, some export import and they did different kinds of business uh, woolen textiles and the silk textiles etc and these merchants and manufacturers the third state also had professions like lawyers and uh, administrative officials who used to work in different kinds of departments at the office and also these people all of them were educated and they believed that no group in society should be privileged only on the basis of birth so here we come to know that these people were educated and they believed that no group in the society should be only privileged or get certain conditions or certain advantages benefits only because they took birth in a uh, rich family or in the first state or second state rather a person's social position education must depend on his merit so here these ideas envisaging a society based on freedom and equal laws and opportunities for all were put forward by great philosophers also such as John Locke and Jean Jack Rousseau and there we come to know how the middle class was struggling and they were trying to revolt and they were trying to get equality in the society where they decided to take the help of some philosophers and these philosophers were great in understanding the philosophy of the people like we see here example of the two treatises of government here in this famous book John Locke a famous philosopher sought to refute or did not agree the doctrine or that rule of the divine and absolute right of the monarch so he said that a king doesn't have the divine right god did not give him the divine right and absolute right means others cannot say anything to the king cannot say anything to the monarch that is not the real doctrine of government running the government Rousseau carried the idea forward from Locke and he proposed a form of the government based on a social contract there must be a contract there must be an agreement between the people and and their representatives like we see today how democracy is running we give votes and the uh, ministers are elected after that they are removed also if they do not uh, if they are not liked by the people if they do not do good work so it's a kind of social contract between the people those who are going to be elected and the people those who will be served by these representatives so this idea was given by uh, Rousseau 
and uh, again we come to know about another great book and this particular book is the spirit of the laws here montesquieu also was a famous philosopher he wrote a famous book called the spirit of the laws and uh, how the laws are to be made he proposed there a certain division of power where the government between within the government uh, that is the legislative the executive and judiciary so this division of power will check and balance each other so this is a very good system now also we are following in india and it is the first time when it was started in the book the spirit of the laws this model of government was put into force in the usa after the 13 colonies declared their independence from britain so america constitution and the guarantee of individual rights was an important example for the political thinkers in france so here we understand that all the political ideas most of the uh, philosophers got the ideas of these political issues in france from usa these ideas of these great philosophers were discussed intensively in saloons different kinds of um, what you can say bars and different kinds of coffee houses and spread among the people through books and newspapers so people used to go to the saloons and to have drinks and all coffee houses to have coffee so there they discussed and they spread these things through the books and newspapers also and these were frequently read aloud in groups for the benefit of the people those who could not read and write but many people were uneducated they did not know how to read and write so for them some other people read these ideas aloud in groups so that they could also understand what is the philosophy and how the people should be changed their mindset should be changed and their opinions should be changed and this is how we come to know about that and the news that louis the 16th planned to impose further taxes to be able to meet the expenses of the state generated anger and protest against the system of privileges and we also come to know that these ideas of imposing future uh, further taxes in the future these all things spread among the people through this kind of ways only and louis the 16 when he said i will impose more taxes at that time everybody became quite angry and there was a great protest against the system of privileges they said all are equal and all should be getting equality so this is what we learn today i hope uh, we'll get some other things in the next topic till then thank you bye